you be professional but still stylish? I think it's how you mix your items that you choose to wear, mix your clothes. Um, you can, like what I'm wearing, I threw on a blazer, but I have on this band-aid skirt to just make myself, you know, a little bit sexier, edgier. Um, it's really how you choose to mix and match, um, to stay within your profession, stay professional, but still be sexy. I mean, at the, at the end of the day, we're women and we want to look good. I promise to take her to the most wonderful places on earth here. If I can take her in this creation, it must be love. love. It's extremely important. I think that when you wake up in the morning and say you put on a workout outfit, you're more than likely not going to want to be seen or do anything. But then you put on something that's like a showstopper or, you know, whether it's a dress, a skirt, a blazer, whatever the case may be, you're ready to take on the world. So a woman's style isn't her identifier, but it, it's what sets the tone. The match from head to toe. Back in the day, people used to wear the same color earrings, bangles, necklace, shirt, top shoes. We're no longer in those days. So I see people, if they're like matching from head to toe, go back inside, put on some other colors, switch it up, and make it your own. Well, I guess the matching is their own, but make it to where you don't look like, you know, you're straight out of a color box. Like, switch it up some. No crayons. See, that's the thing. I am a skin person, and that's only because I've lost a lot of weight. So I'm very proud of my skin now, surprisingly. But I think it's Skin when it's appropriate, cover when it's appropriate. Like if it's summertime in Texas, it's 115 degrees. I don't expect for you to have on a sweater, you know, turtleneck with jeans on. Like, you know, a cute bralette top with some maybe distressed jeans, you know, open toe sandals, ready to go. But you're not walking into church like that, you know? Like it's really skin when it's appropriate, like, you know, outside hot weather, cover up when you're like at the church or see your, you know, your man's mom. That kind of thing. You know? Modesty. Modesty. Yes. 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 I'm not a brand whore. I like whoever has a good deal, whoever I can afford. Um, I like brands that I feel appeal to the everyday woman. For instance, I used to like BCBG because I felt like he just knew how to make clothes for women of all shapes and sizes. But then his price point, that's the point where I'm just like, okay, I can't spend $300 on this jacket because I got a light deal I got to pay for it. So I was like, let me, let me mix it up. Let me go to maybe his outlet and get a BCBG top but then go to Target, it's my it's Target for some people, and get some jeans that, you know, may fit me well. But if you piece it together, you never know what I have on. So piece it together is your favorite Yes, so I'm not brand loyal to anybody. I am me loyal. Whatever makes you feel Whatever, exactly, what makes me feel good. Don't go shopping. No, I'm just playing. Um, my shopping advice is to one, look for an entire outfit and then walk out the store. Like, don't go, because for me, I'll go shopping, like, oh, I just need these pair of shoes, and then walk out with five pair of shoes, five outfits, you know, 10 hats. That's just too much. To me, you know, in today's time, you know, being, you know, economically safe is better. So when you're going shopping, think of an entire outfit that you can get that you can switch up with different pieces in your closet and just get that and leave. You don't want to go broke going shopping. And I've been, I've never been broke, but I've done the most going shopping. And no, never again, never again. Think about it if you are in a moment where you're at the mall and you're just like, oh my God, I have this, I gotta have this, I gotta have this, walk away. Because at the end of the day, there's more things that are important than clothes. And I feel like you don't have to go broke 
trying to look good. Unless, you know, you're a woman, you gotta get your hair done, you gotta get waxed, you gotta get your, you know, nails and feet done. Those are necessity things, because those are body, you know, maintenance. But, you know, clothes, clothes are recycled 24 seven. Fashion is, you know, being recycled. So you don't really have to go broke to stay with the trends. Sheesh. Um, that's a hard one because I love every piece in my closet. Like every single piece. Like I have this um, metal bra from Guns N' Roses Boutique that I wore to a concert. And it was a younger concert. Like everyone was like 18 and under. I was the old one in the crowd. But girls that age were like flocking to me. Like, oh my God, like where'd you get this bra? Like I love it, love it. And then the... Um, the bedazzled uh, vest, the pink vest that I just had on in the photo shoot. Like I bought that from Urban Outfitters maybe eight years ago. And I still love it to this day. Cause it's like, when I walk out, whether I have something under it or just like layered, it's a, it's a, it's a showstopper, hands down. Um, I think that a lot of people try to follow the trends as opposed to setting their own trends. And they miss the mark of their own self identity. Like for me, I don't, when I put on clothes or when I, you know, piece things together, I don't think about, you know, what the next person has on or if I'll get accepted. I mean, I live in a conservative state. Texas is conservative. So I can't get lost in the sauce of like, oh my God, like I have to, you know, follow what everybody else is doing. No, if I stay true to myself, then what I wear is a representation of me. Hi, this is Deanna McGarry and I'm rocking out with Couture Narcotics.